Now, to send this data about your model to Excel, uh, you just need to go to extensions, modeler, uh, send modeler data to Excel. What this will do is, you will see here, uh, it brings up the Excel file. It has the same name as my SketchUp file. So in this case, it's New York Excel. And what we now have is a direct connection between SketchUp uh, and modeler with Excel. So you can see basically, actually, let me try to do it this way. Let me get rid of this one. You can see right now here, this looks like pretty much the same as what I've shown you for uh, inside SketchUp. But the thing here is that actually you can now work with this data inside Excel. So uh, all the data that comes from Modeler goes to Modeler Live Data. And now what I'll do is I'll go to Resi and, and link some data and make some pie charts. And we can also do our own calculations and so on. Residential office hotel. Let's go. Hotel. Uh, hotel. And now what I'll do is I will just link the total gross floor areas. So for the residential, we have it here. Now for the office, we have it here and then for the hotel we have the data here okay so just quickly putting in some numbers and what i'll do now is i will insert the uh, pie chart the donut chart okay so now what will happen is when whenever i change the building you will see that the data here is being updated so if I change this building, make it a bit smaller, you can see the data here in the chart is being constantly updated. So whenever I change the building or change the land use in this case, so let's go with this one for the hotel, you can see that the chart has been updated instantly and the numbers here are updated. So even if I, for, for example, if I need to calculate something that depends on the, on the gross floor area, so let's say, I need to provide for every uh, 100 square meters of residential area, I need to uh, provide one tree, uh, maybe 100. Let's go with 75 so that it will not be as obvious. So for every 75 square meters of residential area, I need to provide one tree. So in this case, we would need to provide uh, 111 trees. Now, if I go and change this, building back to residential, you will see that in this case, we would need to provide 159 uh, trees. So what I'm trying to say here is that whenever uh, you change something in your SketchUp model with Modeler here, the data is being pushed to Excel and all the formulas that you have added, something that is not part of the the initial calculation that already comes with Modeler, everything is being pushed to Excel, and then you can you can do whatever calculations uh, you want to do in Excel. Now, one thing just to note here is that if you are inside a cell in in Excel editing it, and then you make some kind of change in in Modeler, uh, something like that, like five, Modeler will temporarily freeze. Now, don't don't get scared. Uh, now, a window will open up saying server is busy. And this is because what happened right now is model, uh, SketchUp is preventing, preventing the inflow of data from SketchUp. So that's why SketchUp is now waiting for Excel to, to release this data flow. What I need to do is I just need to exit the editing in Excel then I can go back to, to SketchUp and go with retry or switch to, and now we are back and everything is good and still working. So uh, this happens when you're in the middle of editing something in Excel. Uh, and if you change your model in SketchUp, SketchUp and Modeler will wait for it until you finish the Excel. Okay, this is the Excel functionality. Uh, some questions here, Gasper? Uh, not right now, and I'll let you know. Okay, not right now. 
Okay, so with this, I would I would wrap up these uh, capabilities of of basic modeling and getting the data out of modeling.